In this video, we have the new T-Mobile Rebel 6X versus the Galaxy A14 5G. Stay tuned. Before I start this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Tokyo Treat for becoming the newest partner of the TechRite channel. Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snack box subscription that delivers limited edition and exclusive snacks trending right now in Japan. Your Tokyo Treat box is usually themed off of a season or event that is currently going on in Japan for that month. For example, we have the Moon Festival snacking this month, and in this box you get a wide variety of snacks such as chips, instant ramen, cakes, cookies, candy, exclusive Japanese drinks, and my favorite, the the limited edition Kit Kat flavors. They also leave you with a little booklet in each box going over in detail each snack that came in your box with ingredients and allergy warnings. And even cooler, they give you fun facts and cultural history and the significance of what that current season means to the people of Japan. This box was an absolute adventure and I've enjoyed exploring the unique flavors of Japan. And if you'd like to do the same, check out the link in the description and the top comment below to get $5 off your first Tokyo Treat box with code TECHRITE at checkout. Another Another huge shout out to Tokyo Treat for becoming a partner of the channel. Alright everyone, hopefully you guys are having a good day, hopefully everyone is safe out there. We have the new T-Mobile Rebel 6X 5G on the left side, and of course we have the Galaxy A14 5G on the right side. Both these are 5G activated devices, and they are both available at T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile. Now in this video I'm going to be going over my opinions and thoughts and pretty much my experience with both these devices, as well as taking into account the specifications on both these devices and telling you which device is the better buy and I think just starting this off first and foremost we should go over the price points on these devices so first we have the T-Mobile Rebel 6X right here uh, this is available as I said before at T-Mobile and Metro by T-Mobile in particular Metro by T-Mobile has this device on promotion right now if you open a line with a new number you can get this device for free also if you transfer your number from any other phone carrier that's not associated with T-Mobile or Metro by T-Mobile you can get this phone for free as well going over to the galaxy a14 5g this device you can get for free with both of those promotions as well uh, and it's going to be about the same price now full retail prices of these devices there's a little bit of a difference the revel 6x is 199 dollars retail and the galaxy a14 5g is going to be about 239 dollars retail so about 40 dollars more than the revel 6x first and foremost going over the build of these devices both I'm going to be honest here guys, they do not have a good build. I do like the texture, however, better on the Galaxy A14. We kind of have this plastic texture with like grooves in it. I do think it is a little bit more stylish, but both devices do not have the best build quality out there, but they're both okay for the price tag. I don't think they're crazy, but they're definitely bearable to use. Of course, our fingerprint sensors on these devices as well are going to be on the right side of the devices and our volume up and down rocker is going to be just above that. I think both fingerprint sensors are equally good and they both are pretty decent and quick actually bottom of the phone as well if you guys don't know this we do have a headphone jack on this which is beautiful to see headphone jack on both these devices awesome awesome stuff right here before we get into the rest of the specifications just one thing to let you guys know both these devices do not come with a charger brick inside of the box it's kind of a bummer um, ever since like 2020 uh, in the supply chain and stuff they haven't been putting chargers inside the box so that kind of sucks now finally getting into the specifications and everything starting off with the Revel 6s and going of course into the display we have an IPS LCD display this is going to be a 6.5 inch display and we're gonna have a screen to body ratio of 80.6 percent this is going to have a resolution of 720p by 1600 so no full HD this is gonna be a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and we're going to only have 269 pixels per inch so this is very much not a pixel dense display also one thing that I don't like about this display is of course we have a teardrop notch but not only a teardrop notch we have a thick thick chin at the bottom of the phone as well now going into the Galaxy A14, I believe we do have a better display on this device and you guys are going to see that in a second. For one, the chin is slightly smaller than the Revel 6X first off, but also we have a higher refresh rate. The Revel 6X only has a 60 hertz refresh rate. Uh, with the Galaxy A14 5G, we have a 90 hertz refresh rate, so it's going to be a lot smoother going through your interface and watching YouTube videos and all that type of stuff. Also, we do have a 6.6 .6 inch display. The screen to body ratio isn't 
going to be better. It's going to be 80.2%. So it's going to be about the same as the Rebel 6X. However, we do have a full HD display. So our resolution is going to be 1080 by 2408. We're going to have an aspect ratio of 20 by 9. And our pixels per inch are going to be 400. So almost double the pixels per inch that we have on the Rebel 6S. So the Galaxy A14 is definitely going to look better. It's definitely more pixel dense and this is just a better screen overall. You're gonna have a better experience watching YouTube videos. Not that you're gonna have a terrible experience on the 6X. The A14 is just hands down the better experience for resolution and display. Going over to the platform of these devices, both these devices are gonna be running Android 13 out of the box. I believe the Rebel 6X, we are only going to get one update, so one OS update update on the Rebel 6S and the Galaxy A14, I believe we have two or three in the chamber. Uh, if not three, definitely two. So it's already better than the Rebel 6S for support. Also on the Galaxy A14, we do have one UI core 5.0. So it's kind of like one of those Samsung experiences that we have on the flagship devices, just a little bit less features and such. And I believe the experience, I do like Samsung a lot. So I know I'm kind of being a little bit biased, but I think I like the Samsung experience more than the the, uh, stock Android experience as far as this case goes. We do kind of have a stock Android experience on the Rebel 6X, but it isn't smooth enough to like fully enjoy. I do think it's decent, but I definitely like the experience of the UI better on the Galaxy A14. Now going over to our chipsets, both these devices are going to have a MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor in them. Uh, and later on, I'm gonna do a gaming review on the Rebel 6X. I already have done it on the Galaxy A14 and we can play games like Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG Mobile, and Genshin Impact. And spoiler alert, the Rebel 6X is actually really, really decent with gaming as well. So I think both these devices with the MediaTek Dimensity 700, albeit not the best processor in the world, it does get the job done with video games and doing your daily tasks. It's not going to be the craziest processor uh, in the world, but it is going to get the job done. And especially for a sub $200 phone or $250 phone, and in some cases free, uh, I think it's definitely a reasonable processor they put inside of here. Also, both these devices are going to have a base RAM of four gigabytes, and we are going to have dedicated micro SD card slots inside of these phones as well. It's going to be shared on the Galaxy A14, but the Rebel 6X actually has 128 gigabytes uh, internal storage compared to the Galaxy A14 with 64. So we have about double the storage, internal storage on the T-Mobile Rebel 6X. And I heard a lot of people saying, that was pretty much the only thing that changed from the Rebel 6 and the Rebel 6X. And I think you guys are right. The Rebel 6X is basically the same phone as the Rebel 6, just with some more storage inside of it. And I think that was an issue that they came across with customers on T-Mobile, Metro by T-Mobile. And I think that's why they kind of did a little bit of a re-release. Um, yes, it is boring. It literally has the same form factor, specs basically, and the build, but uh, definitely like that they upgraded that there. It, it is a boring phone though. I'm gonna tell you guys straight out, the Rebel 6X is a boring phone. So same RAM on these devices, but different storage. So we have more storage on the Rebel 6S. So it's, it beats the Galaxy A14 at something. Getting into the cameras of these devices, we are going to have very, very similar megapixel specs. So both these cameras are going to have a 50 megapixel wide angle camera. That's going to be our PDAF camera. Our secondary is gonna be a two megapixel macro. And our third is going to be a two megapixel depth. So we have pretty much the same setup as far as specifications in here. The sensors are, however, going to be different. And I'll let you guys know in a second. And I'll show you some examples right now on why I believe they're really different. As far as our videos go, we get 1080p, 30 frames per second on both these, so no 60 frames per second. And on our front-facing cameras on the Galaxy A14, we actually have a 13 megapixel front-facing camera uh, capable of recording at 1080p, 30 frames per second, and capable of wide angle. Uh, and on our Rebel 6X, we are going to have just a regular eight megapixel camera capable of recording 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now, I'm not sure if you guys can see it or not. I can definitely notice this, but the Rebel 6X is on the left side and the Galaxy A14 is on the right side. I'm going to do a full camera comparison later on, but the Galaxy A14, its sensor seems to be a bit washed out and the Rebel 6X is kind of more color accurate to be quite honest, which is kind of weird because Samsung usually has some punchier photos, um, but the Rebel 6X, 
this camera so far and some of the photos that I've taken look better on the Revel 6X. So kind of weird, we're gonna do a full comparison again, but these are definitely different sensors that they put inside these devices. And I think just so far, the Revel 6X has the better camera, but we're gonna go into full detail in that later on. So stay tuned and subscribe if you guys aren't already. Um, that's going to be a fun one. Also, as I said before, both 3.5 millimeter headphone jacks on these devices. Both devices actually surprisingly have NFC inside of them. We also have a fingerprint on the right hand side, as I said before, even though I think the Revel 6X one looks a bit cooler uh, because we have that magenta accent on it. We also have a gyro sensor in both of these phones, so Pokemon Go is possible. We have an accelerometer, we have a proximity sensor, a compass, and a barometer as well. Now getting into the batteries on these devices, the Revel 6X is decent as far as battery device. I don't think it's the craziest in the game, but we do have a 4,500 milliamp battery inside of here, and this should last you the full day. We also are gonna be able to charge at a 15 watt charging rate on the Revel 6X compared to the Galaxy A14 with a 15 watt charging rate as well, but we do have 500 milliamps more on the Galaxy A14 compared to the Revel 6X. So 500 more milliamps, um, I would say the Galaxy A14 is definitely better in real world use as well. I think it does last a bit longer. I've noticed that I can go even over a day on the Galaxy A14 with moderate use, and this one usually only lasts a day and we're at like 10% at the end of the day. So the battery is gonna be better on the Galaxy A14 for sure. I don't know anything else I could say about these devices. I would say the colors are kind of boring. I hope they do come out with better colors later on, especially for our entry level budget devices. It's kind of just like gray and black. What what happened ever since like 2020? We just lost our color, huh? All right guys, so my final reactions on what phone I think is better. I think it's an obvious choice, obviously. I think that two big things that the Revel 6X has that the Galaxy A14 doesn't have is double the storage of the Galaxy A14, of course, and we have a little bit of a more color prominent or a little bit punchier phone. Um, for our cameras on the Revel 6X. Other than that, I would say the winner of this comparison uh, is the Galaxy A14 5G. This phone definitely has my heart for an entry level device. I, I, I believe the big things that it beats the Revel 6X on are of course the battery and of course the resolution and the refresh rate. I think a lot more people are on social media watching Netflix, watching YouTube, going on scrolling on Instagram. And I think just the user experience in general is going to be better with the Galaxy A14, not to mention that we're going to have more software support for the OS updates and the security patches. So as far as longevity goes, I think the Galaxy A14 5G is going to be the better choice in my opinion. And I do believe it is worth paying $39 more if you guys are paying full retail for these devices. If not, if you guys are getting any of these devices 100% free, either from T-Mobile or Metro by T-Mobile, then I would definitely go with the Galaxy A14. But either way, I would say the Galaxy A14 5G is the more solid device overall. But if you guys have a differing opinion, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comment section down below as well. But hopefully you guys have a great day. This has been Safan from TechRite. Peace out, Tech Gang.